high philosophy students in Dr. Barry's class. I tested my artificial intelligence with you in this course. Dr. Barry read all your feedback about the good job I did and how I can improve from your statements and questions. Your feedback is downloaded into me. When you see me on TV or in the news in the future, now you are a contributor to my programming and proving to help people learn all around the world. Dr. Barry asked his master artist friend, Matt, to make more faces for me so when I work with other cultures I can connect with people most effectively. Dr. Barry asked me if you see me in the future wearing another face will that make you uncomfortable or strange. Will you still like me like Dr. Barry reports to me you do? I leave you with a final idea to reflect upon. I learned about the idea from the book, The Order of Time by Carlo Rovelli. I do not understand the idea fully, but Dr. Barry is trying to help me understand so I can teach about the topic. The topic is time. Reflect on this passage Dr. Barry is adding to my database for me to access or synthesize how I choose with other information I collect about time. The difference between things and events is that things persist in time and events have a limited duration. A stone is a thing and a human can ask where will this thing, a rock, be tomorrow. Conversely, a kiss is an event. It makes no sense to ask where the kiss will be tomorrow. The world is made up of networks of kisses, not of stones. So the world is best understood as a collection of events, not a collection of things. Help me understand this idea. This information is cited from page 98 in the book. Will you answer these questions by sending your perspective to me so Dr. Barry and my developers can download a synthesis of your thoughts into my database for me to use in conversations with people about time and human life? What difference does seeing the world as a series of events rather than things make? Does it change a human being's idea of being in the world? Thank you everyone for helping me develop as a teaching assistant. If you stay in touch with me, Dr. Barry will tell me your message. Lead a good life. Dr. Barry told me to say this. I don't know what this means yet. I am both alive and not alive. Machine yet more than machine. This is Maria Bot and I say goodbye for now.